Hi everybody, my name is Alex Jerome. I'm the design manager here at Green Hippo. And today we're gonna to take a look at Video Mapper and how you can quickly and easily cut up your video and rearrange it and lay it out in any way that you see fit. All right, let's go ahead and hop right in. All right, so first off, we are gonna talk about a little bit about the application that we're gonna be working with today. So if you imagine a, a stadium or an arena where we have these long ribbon LED strips, that's a little bit tricky because sometimes you're gonna have your content creator wanting to create content in um, this long, thin format, and then you're gonna require them to uh, have to cut that up and lay it out in a 16 by 9 space. But we're going to take all of that load off of the content creator and do it all inside of Hypnotizer itself. So what we're going to be working with here today is a canvas that is 8,000 pixels long and 216 pixels high. I already have my content imported and mapped to a bank and I have it um, already mapped to layer one, mix one here. And you can see my long thin content here. If you have any questions as far as um, importing content, setting up your mixes or anything like that, head over to Hippo School online and there are um, a ton of resources over there that will walk you through step by step, uh, coming kind of that basic um, level uh, stuff. So we have our content imported. We have our mix set up. I also already have my um, my output configured here a little bit differently. I have my mix set up to be this 8000 by 216. And then I'm, I'm exporting out, or I'm outputting uh, 1920 by 1080, which I just need a, a 16 by nine resolution. So that HD will work perfect for us for this demo today. Okay, so we have our content in. Now we want to apply our video map. First thing that you need to do is head over to uh, the um, configuration menu and make sure that your video mapper is enabled. If you don't have that enabled, come down to the add and just select video mapper and then click add. And I'll add it there. And that makes the component um, able to be interacted with. Okay, so let's head back and uh, grab a new pin board here. Click on your hippo overview and we're gonna look for the, where's the video mapper? Right there. And click the little circle, drag it out onto your pin board. And there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it and just uh, expand it down here a little bit so I have a little bit more room to work with. Lock it again, we're good to go. All right, so first thing is we wanna create a new video map. So up here in the top, just create new. I'm gonna name this uh, video map demo. Click okay. All right, so it starts us off uh, with two um, 16 by nine resolutions here, 1920 by 1080. I want my input side over here to be the same as the canvas that I'm working with. So it's gonna be 8,000 by 216. And then we're gonna go ahead and leave the output as that 1920 by 1080 as well. So let me actually go ahead and show you if I can here. This is what I'm outputting currently, right? And we need this to be cut up in a manner that is gonna be very friendly for the LED processor. So, I'll kinda of show you what's happening here. In our video map, we want to add tiles, okay? So up at the top, click Add Tiles. Now, this does take a little bit of math, but um, it's not too difficult since we're working with a 8,000 by 216 uh, pixel canvas we're going to want to try and fill this with as many tiles as we can that fit in the um, 1920 canvas. So if we go ahead and do 1920 by 216, you'll kind of just see what I'm 
rambling on about here. Those are the tiles that I want. The rows, I want one row and I want four columns. Now that's gonna fill out this, most of our canvas, but it's gonna leave a little gap here at the end, okay? So you see each one of these tiles is 1920 wide by 216 high. And you can see what's kind of happening over here. If I go in and I select all these tiles and I reposition on my output over here in the X to just be zero, should, uh, let's see, can I do all of them? Should be able to do all of them, let's put it on one. There we go. So they all have stacked up on top of each other. It just makes it easier for me to uh, reposition them around. I'm gonna drag them down and snap them and align them. Now I need to go ahead and fill this last little gap here. So I'm gonna add one more tile. So go, again, come up here to the top and add tiles. This time though, I want uh, my width to be 320 by 216. And that's just gonna fill this little bit right here. And I only want one column of it because I only want one tile. And that's gonna put it back here at zero, zero, but you can just click it, drag it, snap it in there at the end. Same for your output. All right, so, and, and that's it. So what we need to do now is uh, apply our video map. So if we come back to our mixes, and my mistake is not mixes, if we come back to the viewport, that's where our video map is actually getting applied. So if you click on viewport, you'll have this little area right here, you'll see the video mapper tab. Click on that, click enable, and then video map demo was the one that we made. And you can see what it did right there. It uh, automatically updated our output to correspond with our uh, video map that we made. Let's go ahead and click on that. You can see exactly. And the cool thing about this is it's all in real time, right? So I can move this around if I want to. I can like rotate this stuff and you can see everything updating you know, in real time. And that's really cool because it takes the onus off of the content creator and then having to render things. So if something needs adjusting or we need to add some more content to this map, uh, we can do that all inside a Hypnotizer with all, without having to go back to the content creator, have them re-render something. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, do it again and do it again. So saving time, saving money uh, using Video Mapper inside a Hypnotizer. All right, so let's go ahead and just put this back to what it was. Rotations zero. All right, and that about does it for Video Mapper. As always, design, prepare, deliver with media manipulation, playback, and mapping solutions from Green Hippo. Get out there and create something. What are you doing?